Good evening. Another weekend of gun violence in Toronto. Another gun a government announcement to try and stop it. Marley Avenue, 30 shots fired, one going through the window of a family home. Four people were injured. Tree Sparrowway, two men shot in their legs in broad daylight. Tor York Drive, a man shot to death, becoming the city's 41st homicide victim of the year. In all, there were four shootings in the city this past weekend. Just two months before a federal election and Toronto's gun violence has caught Ottawa's attention. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was in town talking about it two weeks ago and today it was Federal Minister Bill Blair's turn. Gang-related homicides in Canada's largest cities have nearly doubled in the past five years. Bill Blair, the Minister of Border Security and Organized Crime Reduction, announced $54 million over three years today for Ontario to fight guns and gangs. It's not new money, though. It was actually in the last federal budget. Today was more like a reaffirmation. The $54 million is over and above $11 million previously announced from the feds and $3 million announced by the city and province for cameras just last Friday. And it's over and above the $4 million all three levels of government announced the week before. And over above the $25 million announced by the province last fall. And yet, Toronto has had 285 shootings so far this year, with July now holding the record for the most shootings of any month ever in this city. Forgive me for being cynical. I've heard these announcements almost every year of my career. What's not being done that needs to be done? Well, one of the things that I think is absolutely critical is, is Canadians need to have confidence that all three orders of government are working for them. They're working together. Now, the money will go to a number of initiatives, including a bail team, more lawyers to address the issue, which many have said bail conditions are way too soft. But one thing that wasn't discussed here today was addressing the root cause, which both Mayor John Tory and Toronto Police Chief Mark Saunders have said repeatedly it has to be addressed.